That's Nathan Astle too. <laughs> you give him width, he'll look to go for it. Well, not a lot of foot movement, but this is what we talk about hand-eye coordination for Astle. See, the foot just goes to there. But such a good eye. Yeah, but I think it's a not a bad little bit of bowling either. I think it's yeah. a carrot ball, isn't it? it, it and, and because Astle's good enough, he's got a lot of bat on it. But had it swung another inch or two, then you've sucked him in. So it's quite interesting cricket. If, if Astle's prepared to throw the bat at the ball, that we see a thoroughly entertaining over to go into lunch. This is the fourth day of the first test match. And one uh, a pretty even Stephen Morning. A good shot though it's going to run away to deep midwick it's not going to go for four they may run four though and they have Let's see a lot straighter and this has got through Asra Hussain has got a problem with his uh, middle finger of uh, his left hand can't get down so two fours to Astel in this over 154 for three Adhering to the old adage, if you're going to flash, flash hard, and he did. Now oh, crunching, cut shot, back behind point. This is good counter-attacking, much better stroke. And will Hoggard swing it? Oh, good start, wasn't it? A little uppish from Nathan Astle, but it was pretty well dead straight. Pretty well timed. I like this approach from New Zealand. This is positive, isn't it? Both Astle and Fleming come out after lunch with positive intent. He's bowling from his favourite end again now, Matthew Hoggard. Straight away, Astle into action and is forced to field change. Mid on is now placed. One bounce four, but only just. And uh, I think Nathan Astor will get a couple more of these because it was not played convincingly. It's a good piece of bowling. A very good bouncer. Very straight. Yeah, that's right. Good line. Look at that, right over middle stump. And really, he was forced into that sort of almost a knee-jerk shot, wasn't it? Look at that. Something else to think about. Yeah. Third one in the over. Big over for Astle, big over back. Yeah. Well, that'll run away for four. Come through the gully region. It's 50 for Nathan Astle, and it is a well-played 52. Ten boundaries. Some typical strong Astle shots through the offside. A valuable knock. Actually, this is a very clever bit of batting. Look at the angle of the bat there. Deliberately using the face of the bat and what little width there was. Okay, so you got, you got to 50, you got to 50 very well. Stephen Fleming was out, you'd been joined by Craig McMillan, another attacking player. Still more of the same though, was it? Yeah, I mean, Mac and I, we, I mean, we enjoy batting together, we both play similarly, and we, we were talking about it would be a great, a great score to win, I suppose, in a joking sense to start with. And uh, he played his shots, and we just started to get a roll on and a roll on, and it was starting to get enjoyable out there. Now, what sort of field will we have? Will uh, Rampracast just give himself a wee bit of just a, just a pace? Yeah, <laughs> on the left of screen, I know, just stepping back just a bit. Oh, put it down. Just nothing more than a half, maybe a quarter chance, but a very clever bit of thinking from uh, Mark Rampracast. He gave himself room, understanding that he was now in there because the ball was going to race off the bat rather than off bat and pad. 
well it's sensible and actually went so fast it hit the helmet so it didn't really ever go straight into the hands he came up and it hit him before he was ready it's in the air but it's wide boundary uh, it's standard deliver batting and he's as good a sort of player as just about anybody in the world I'd say Nathan Astle Rufel. Well, that's more. That's really a lovely stroke. Much more convincing. Oh, it's a fantastic hit.